Hi, my name is Anjali Bodapati, and I'm here from the University of Illinois at Chicago um, at the APS 23rd Annual Convention. Um, my research is looking at uh, anhedonia and schizophrenia, so basically the ability to experience enjoyment and pleasure in things that or the inability, rather, to experience uh, enjoyment in things that people normally enjoy, um, which happens a lot in schizophrenia. And so what we, what has been shown in the past is that schizophrenic patients are able to experience enjoyment in the moment, but that when they're asked to think about them outside of that moment, there are some deficits that arise. However, that's been mostly focused on physical stimuli and physical anhedonia. So what my poster looked at was um, whether that extends to the social realm. And so the way we did that was we, uh, for the in-the-moment um, enjoyment, we had them look at uh, different pictures of uh, social slides um, and had them rate their arousal, so how aroused they felt, whether they were calm or bored by looking at it or very excited um, by looking at it, and then also the valence, so whether they felt good positively or negatively about it. Um, so what we found was that the schizophrenic patients uh, had no differences from the healthy controls in their ratings of these IAPS pictures in the moment. However, when they were asked to just rate social interactions, how they feel about them in general, which was done on a, the Chapman social anhedonia scale, they, we did find these differences. So it kind of shows that in the moment they're able to appreciate um, and respond similarly to social stimuli, but that outside of the moment they're not really able to do it um, the same as healthy controls. And so that was kind of the main finding of my poster. Um, as far as uh, what I've enjoyed about APS so far, it's just, I mean, I just got here, but I have been able to look around at different posters and I found some interesting um, findings. One in particular was one over there. It's also kind of in my area of interest in schizophrenia. Um, it's been looking at kind of the push towards uh, a more, um, Oh gosh, I'm blinking on what the word is. Uh, like a continuum model of schizophrenia. So the idea that it's not this dichotomous, you have it or you don't. There's kind of these different levels of symptoms that people can have that I think the DSM-5 is kind of moving toward. Um, so I thought, you know, the information on that poster is pretty interesting and maybe you can get some of it, I don't know. Um, but thank you.